Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is King Loosely and if you are a new watcher, thank you so much for watching this video and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video again. You can always find me on my social media platforms. The details are on the screen as we speak right now. Yeah, that's all I can say for now. Let's get into the video. Okay, so, so today on this video, I'm going to be asking, I'm a piano artist, how much do they charge for a performance fee? I know it was done by someone last year, so I'm just doing it again, you know, just for the fun and everything. Thank you so much for watching my last video. It reached 100 views. You know, that was the first time I reached 100 views on a video. Thank you so much for watching that video, guys. Hope you're going to like this one more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, today I'm going to be asking, I'm a piano artist, how much did they charge for a performance fee? Let's see how did I create the whole process of creating the fake Gmail account and writing the email. Okay, so now I'm drafting the email to make it look real. I'm still using the same Gmail account as my previous video, but this time I'm drafting the email with a little bit of twist. Alright, so you saw everything. You saw how I created the fake Gmail account. I'm still using the same one from the previous video. And this time I did trick the, the email a little bit, you know, to make it look more realistic. Because I don't want to use the same um, email draft over and over again on different things. You know, it's going to be like, you know, we're going to be caught. We're going to be caught and we don't want to be caught. <laughs> yeah. So well, let's get straight no. into the video and see how much do they charge for a performance fee. Let's see. Okay, this. so first things first, we have Kamum Pila. With Kamum Pila, her management said that I should include everything from the date, the venue, the everything, the what what the deed and whatever registration company number, what what no, like uh button. This is for a party, not an event. So how am I supposed to write the registration stuff on this um on for a party, like I mean, I'm planning this party, so I don't have like a, a, a event planning company, you know, but on. Uh, no. So secondly, we are having major league DJs. With major league DJs, you know, they are from the same management as Kamon Pela. So both of the things are, you know, they did respond with the same emails and everything. So yeah, they all said that I should actually... Um, include company whatever and everything like that so I don't have time for that. Thirdly, we are moving to DJ Maparisa. What with DJ Maparisa, unfortunately his management team said that he cannot perform at parties. Actually he does not perform at private parties or anything like that. So Maparisa only performs at festivals and clubs, not private parties. That's not... yeah. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can say about that. You know, if he doesn't perform parties, then he doesn't perform the parties. That's simple. You know, it's that simple. It's not hard. You know, it's not very hard. You know, it's cool. It's cool though. Right now we cool. are moving on to the next one, and the next one we have it's Oscar Bo. With Oscar Bo, his management team says that he can perform at 18k. He charges 18k to perform, and you know, with Oscar Bo, Oscar Bo, you know, he's like the official govist. I just love Oscar Bo. I mean, he has that vibe. I mean, yo guys, he has that vibe. You know, when he dances and everything, you know, I just like him. Well, I don't know if he's a DJ or he's an I'm a piano artist or he's doing I'm a piano genre or. I don't know i just had to include him on the list because i just like how he danced and all stuff you know and yeah i just like it you know i don't actually know if he's an amateur piano artist or an afro afro house or whatever or he's deep house or whatever but i just had to include him here no i just had to include him here he is amazing he is everything that you need to hear from him <laughs> what am I saying? Okay, okay. so up next uh, we have Risma Lisa. Risma Lisa. Risma Lisa. Who's, who's? <laughs> so with, with, with Risma Lisa, 
his, release, his management team said that he performs at 20k with you no know, he charges 20k to perform at a local event and you know, a local um event yeah i think local event means maybe around south africa yeah i don't know i'm not sure and you know with Riz Matlusa, he's he totally he totally deserves he deserves that a uh, that twenty k because you know he's doing great things right now. He's on you know that level of you know a pop star, a superstar, I'm a piano superstar. I mean everyone is likes him. If you don't like Riz Matlusa, I don't know what are you, you know who are you and what are you doing, you know, and why do you listen to my in the first place? Because Riz Matlusa, he is doing great moves currently right now i just like him you know from city city to ringo to um seven's way to and um seven's way to is the top one you know top one i just love um seven's way to but it should be our national anthem they should replace that african's part with um seven's way okay so finally the final one we have today at Gabza the small you know Gabza the small you think i mean yo Gabza the small but if you think Gabza the small you think of you know great hits platinum selling singles yeah that's Gab Gabza the small for you with Gabza the small they say that Gabza the small charges 45k for an indoor event and for an outdoor event he charges 60k so which means if the party is indoors, it will be 45k. And if the party is outdoors, it will be 60k. That's what they're trying to say. And, uh, ooh, I with Couple the Small, I totally think that he deserves it, actually. He deserves, you know, that 60k, that 45k. He totally deserves this amount because he's such a great, you know, a great Ama Piano producer currently you know he's doing great moves i just love Gabza. he's he's great you know he totally deserved this one from the number of hits that he has produced with maporisa and everyone i totally think he totally deserves this this one he totally deserves it no cap so no cap. here are some of the djs that did not respond to my emails with zandi mez i told you on the previous video that i'm gonna include zandi mez because she does my piano and Unfortunately, she did not respond. Her management did not respond. Like, I sent them an email two weeks ago, and they did not respond to me. And then, also, Jay-Z Disciples, they are booking email, and it's not working. It's not working at all. It keeps on saying, message is not delivered. You know, message is not delivered, configure, whatever, you know, IT, whatever, stuff like that. So, ah. Uh, I don't know guys, I don't know guys, I don't know guys, I don't we know. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Subscribe and also turn on that notifications button. Do not miss everything that I'll be posting on this channel. And don't forget to hit that like button and also the subscribe button. Well, I'm going to see you on the next video, I guess. Goodbye.